What is up guys, TechRacks here. So in this box, I have every major design change iPhone that Apple has ever released. So I don't have every single model, like the pluses or the S upgraded models, but they are the kind of the big form factor changes uh, that Apple has released over the course of their history. So we got the 2G, the 3G, the 4, the 5, the 5C, the 6, the 7, the 8, the XR, the iPhone 10, and of course the new iPhone 11 Pro. This is that mint green color, looks really, really beautiful. And then the midnight green iPhone 11 Pro, right here to the right. So we're gonna be pouring liquid nitrogen on every single phone at once, and we're just gonna see which one lasts better. So this will be a cool little competition, guys. Without any further ado, let's get straight into this. And just to show you guys the back of all these phones, I did flip all of them just so you guys can see, you know, there's no cracks, there's no significant damage. They're all working, there's the backs. I haven't even taken off the seal off the new one, so let me go ahead and do that. There's the 11 Pro, or the 11, and here's the Pro. Boom, just like that. So let's go ahead and get into this, guys, and see what happens, which iPhone survives the race of coldness. And here's the liquid nitrogen. We're just gonna keep pouring. It's hard to see where it is, but we wanna make sure it's fully covered. So, looks like they're all fully covered, but we'll go a little bit more, and I think that should be good. So, we'll stop right there. I think that's maybe four or five liters of liquid nitrogen. Look at this, you guys can still see all the colors. Some of them are black, that one turned off, that one turned off some of them are still on so this is crazy guys you have a few phones that already shut off these right ones some of the middle ones iphone 7 iphone 8 they're doing good and the new iphone 11 but we're going to be doing this for a few minutes let them soak in Ooh, look at all the phones they're popping they're cracking who's the last one that's going to turn off we still got the 2g the 3g and the iphone xr alive 2g the 2g is the winner just from the display what in the world that's crazy that is crazy the iphone 2g is still alive all the other phones i'm guessing they've cracked or they're dead and there you go i think all the phones are now blacked out just a minute into the race we'll leave it for a few more minutes take all of them out and see what happens the 3g Look at this. This thing is still all in one piece, so the front screen isn't actually uh, popping out. And I'll wait until it cools off completely to normal temperature, because who knows, maybe this thing will actually turn on. I highly doubt that. Look at the camera on the iPhone 8. This back is like completely... Look at that. Pops off just like a little piece of edible food like a little snack I could just bite into this okay this is kind of crazy here this is the 11 the iPhone 11 and this screen is absolutely popped off I mean look at this whoa it's like multiple pieces what is going on here guys I don't even know multiple layers the iPhone 6 in one piece crazy cold and then, man, this thing is still covered. Looks like snow. The iPhone 2G, the very first one, which was also the one that turned off last. Here we have the iPhone 11 Pro. This one seems like it wants to come off, but still in one piece. Okay, now this part is where it's gonna get very interesting, guys. I wanna test out individually real quick if these phones turn on. I'll look at some of the better ones first, so let's First, go with the iPhone 6. So this one actually looks really good. Just from the back, it's in one piece. The front looks good. And uh, I'll plug it in, and then I'll try and turn it on. And, oh my goodness. No way. We got that. We got the battery. Signed the Apple logo. Oh, survivors. We got survivors up in here. That's crazy, guys. I literally thought after I did this experiment that all of these phones were toast. I mean, they were cracking. They were just coming apart boom first phone this one of course it does look almost the best out of all of these um but i plugged it in iphone 6 you survive another day look at this good battery percentage everything works what in the world 
That is awesome. And I mean the seam, everything just stuck together. Let's go with the iPhone 5C next. So the front screen doesn't look really good on this. I have uh, not a lot of hope on this one turning on, but oh my goodness, this one is turning on as well. There's a battery thing right here. It's very hard to see. Apple logo. The, the screen is definitely more damaged. You can see there's a lot more. Uh, there's like tints of yellow and cracking. Boom. Here it is. Still good as far as battery life. Yes, it does work. Again, you have a little bit of the crackling. And you can see the damage on that front display. But this thing is still in one piece and it works. I'm already shocked, guys. I did not expect even one of these phones working. So that's two out of two. Next up, man, this is the iPhone 11. This is the one I grabbed, the iPhone 11 Pro. And this one doesn't look too good at all, guys, because the screen is, seems like it's popping up. And I don't know what's going on here. Really weird textured look. Plugging it in, ho holding the power button here. Oh, my goodness. No. Why? The newest iPhone, and you got to mess up. I was on a roll. Two out of two. And there's an Apple logo, and it is basically working, but the back looks good. The iPhone actually just having trouble here, so I'm going to wait out a little bit, maybe skip it for now, and try it later, but this iPhone doesn't want to unlock. This blue one, the iPhone XR, so it's in one piece, but there's a pretty significant looking damage on the front. Yes, Apple logo. It's not swiping. So I'm going to say this is kind of borderline with the iPhone 11 Pro here. Um, it's, you know, it doesn't want to unlock. So, so far we're basically two out of four that are fully working. Next up, we have the iPhone 11. So this is the one that actually suffered some significant glass damage here. But this could definitely be a sign that it's not going to be, um, you know, it's not going to be working well for a very long time. Oh, that's really weird. So both the 11 Pro and this one have these weird, um, you know, issues here. This one actually unlocks though. That's cool. That's actually really, really crazy because this glass is just coming apart. Like, I could probably peel this off right here. Next up, we have the iPhone 5. So this one was actually charging for a very long time, but it managed to power on. It's at 15% and it works. So this is a survivor. There's no major cracks or distortion that I see. This, that's the iPhone 8. Guys, let's go ahead and plug this in. This is the one with the back completely peeled. This is going to be interesting. Front looks good and it's still kind of in one piece. Okay, the true test is going to be, will this iPhone actually... Yes, it unlocks. Everything is good, guys. So I'm going to have to say it's a survivor. I know there's two weird uh, little, you know, parts here, but everything still works. The back, actually it's not really a survivor, I guess. I don't know if you guys want to consider this a survivor because this back is completely um, like this. But the phone does work. Next up, the iPhone 10. Front looks pretty bad here. No Apple logo, no sign of battery. So the thing about the iPhone 10 is I can hear the vibration, but there's nothing on the screen. So the screen's fully dead, no Apple logo. Uh, I can feel, you know, it is charging. The phone is charging. Um, the back looks good. It's in one piece, but surprisingly, this phone doesn't want to actually show anything. So it's it's done. This phone is gone. So the iPhone 4 giving me a little bit of issues. It uh, doesn't want to stop charging, so it just keeps charging and charging. If I plug it in, it uh, shows this, but then I take it out, and I actually, it's all glitchy here, you guys can see. So I've kept it in here for about 20 minutes, and it's still trying to charge. Um, I'm going to go on to the next phone. Moving to the iPhone 3G. Man, this thing is old, guys. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Just heard that beautiful vibration. iOS 6, look at that. Please tell me it's responsive to touch. No, it's not. Okay. So it does turn on, but I'm unable to go like this. Ah, it's a shame. It's a shame, guys. No good. Not a survivor. And finally, guys, last but not least, the first ever iPhone. iPhone 2G. Let's see if it has a similar thing here. Yes, Apple logo. 
looks really the same too here kind of the same weird you know milky looking colors here with the cracked screen so the iPhone 2G actually wanted me to restore it I plugged it into iTunes like it asked but it's doing a whole bunch of glitching showing a lot of colors and uh, it was unsuccessful gave me some errors I'm gonna plug it in here you guys could see boom only one line and then unplug it got a whole bunch of lines here so this phone obviously it was not a survivor now finally to summarize the results guys all of the phones here on the top were the ones that did not survive guys they were the ones that failed so you guys could see 2G 3G they keep still tweaking out they're rebooting themselves all of these other phones either they're completely off or they you know they'll turn on like this but they won't unlock so unfortunately that was actually the newest 11 Pro and 11 they were two of those phones the survivors guys crazy I really did not expect this we have the iPhone 5 the 5c the 6 the 7 and the 8 I'm gonna count the 8 as a survivor even though the back is completely falling apart here um, if I had to pick one the iPhone 6 I would say did the best job this thing um, absolutely amazing very little marks that the iPhone 6 was even in any liquid nitrogen at all it didn't come apart all in one piece guys that's the champ of this iPhone liquid nitrogen test I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always stay tuned for more videos I'll see you guys in the next one and as always peace out